How's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another amazing episode with Tippa TV, Josh and Marianne. Morning. <laughs> it's definitely morning. Uh, we decided to get out of the house and do a little bit of exploring and we also decided to go back to one of my original routes. So the very first time we, I went out to pursue the paranormal, this is actually the place I went. Not a lot of people actually know about this headstone that we are here to visit right now. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think it's really cool that we are here, not only because it was one of your first places, right? Right. But it's his birthday today. Happy birthday! <laughs> okay. That it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So another thing about the cemetery is it's probably, as far as I know, one of the oldest and one of the largest cemeteries in Utah. When you pull in, you could drive for a long time before you ever see the other side of it. Um, and there's all different kinds of religious sections. There's uh, military sections back that way. There's fire trucks driving by and airplanes flying over. This is in the heart of Salt Lake. So if you look it up, it is an enormous cemetery. And there's also more things here than just this one headstone. But I'm going to have Marianne go ahead and introduce you to who we came to visit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are here to see the famous Lily E. Gray, victim of the beast 666. Now, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't have any answers on why this was written here a lot of people think you know it had to do with devil worshiping or paranormal uh, stuff there's a lot of a lot of interesting history that we do know and there's a lot of stuff we still don't know um one of the the most common stories that we have heard is that um now lily married a gentleman um named elmer gray and they were actually married w way later in life, like in their 70s. Elmer had a big run-in with uh, a long, long history of, of crime, was in prison for about 11 years for burglary. Lily was actually an immigrant from Canada. There's questions on why Lily's date of birth is not the same as some of the records. <coughs> um, years ago, I did a lot of digging what I was able to find was it appeared that Lily had a twin. The twin died and Lily is actually the twin's name. So it appears that Lily was not Lily at all. That's just what I have come up with. So don't, don't hold me to it. Don't take my word for it. But it kind of sheds a little bit of a more 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 light on maybe why some of the stuff was going on now her her husband Elmer was the one who ordered this headstone and people were saying he was a little bit you know off his off his mental rocker um, victim of the B666 from what a lot of people are saying has to deal with the government being the beast so whether that's the case or not we don't really know now to throw a twist into all that too, when she was doing her research, we saw records of when Lily um, bought a ticket to go overseas to, to get here. And then two days later, you saw another ticket for Lily to get over here. So within a two day time span, Lily made the trip from there to here. So it makes me kind of wonder if maybe the twin sister wasn't actually passed away. She was still alive. She, she just maybe hidden. So they go and they buy one ticket, right? <clears throat> Get on the boat, slip the ticket over to somebody else who's staying on, on the dock. Mm -hmm. They go in and say, I missed my boat. Can I catch the next one? Here's my ticket. So that way they both was able to transport over here on, under just one name and under just one ticket, just used two different times. 
who knows now also uh, the information there is uh, some documents online about Elmer Gray and his record his criminal record his uh, police statement or whatever it was and there's two different versions of it there's one that somebody modified and made it look all crazy like it was a crazy man writing it mm -hmm. that is the fake document the original document was just a very simplistic filled out form with his name with his offense stuff like that so there's a lot of misinformation out there there's a lot of false documents out there mm -hmm. and there's a lot of clickbait information out yeah. there on it all we can tell you for sure is that's her headstone Yep, that's, that's pretty much it. So that's the truth. So, again, this is the first place I actually came to to pursue the paranormal field. I did a EVP session here with a K2. And I got two EVPs that came back through it. One said, uh, trust me, how can you do it? The other one said, Zoe, Zoe, no. I think Zoe was actually the twin's name. If I re re recall right, I think Zoe was the twin's name. Cool. Should we do a necrophonics? Yes, of course. Let's do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> One more thing I just remembered. Towards the end of Lily's life, she was in the hospital for about a week, died of natural causes. Now, there is conspiracy theorists out there saying that um, Elmer actually did her in. We think, as far as we know, that is incorrect. Um, as far as we know, it seems more of the credible sources are saying that she did die of natural causes. However, her family did not like Elmer and kept them apart. Um, in the last in her last days and uh, he is also buried here at the cemetery but very far apart from her so that is another tidbit for you maybe we ought to try to find his grave yeah let's do that i think we should okay i'm gonna set this up and let you guys roll that's less gonna be so They'll need to be close. Since we don't have the speakers here with us, we're gonna have to get really up and close and personal with this so you can hear it. Hello? Well, I can barely hear it and I'm right on top of it. Lily, are you here? Lily, are you here? I'm gonna have to go grab the speaker. Hang on. Sorry about that. I gotta step away for a minute. So, are there other people here that you know that are buried? Is that a friend of yours? Was Elmer okay? Yeah. 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 He's passed away too. Should we go find him? 
on your headstone. Feel free to share why. Is it re really Lily that's buried here? Or is it somebody else? It's not Lily's sister. Zoe. Right, because the record that we saw was Lily. Did Elmer know that you really with I'm gonna give you a couple more minutes to say what you have to say. A couple more minutes to say what you have to say, then we're gonna go try to find Elmer's grave, okay? So when you're ready, a couple of minutes. Go. Pointed this out to you. I don't know. If, I don't know why she's tipping that down. I, I'm sorry. I can't tell what I'm doing. I don't know if Marianne pointed this out to you or not, but so many people have come here to visit that the ground in front is worn down. So a lot of people come here to visit Lily, maybe Zoe, whoever it is. But it's rather interesting headstone, wouldn't you say? I would say. Maybe we'll walk around a little bit and try to find Elmer's Elmer's grave. Yep, let's do it. Check back with you. Okay, so we found it. And it is literally on the opposite side of a cemetery. Almost as far as you can get. It's supposed to be... Oh. I said it was right in front. It should be this good. Yep, there it is. Right here. Wow. Dude. Yeah. 
Wow, they didn't clean that off at all. It, it was hardly even visible. Sorry, Elmer. Markings on his. Mm -mm. 1964. The head saw looks a lot like hers, though. Yeah, it does. Oof. And they literally had him on the opposite side. We drove. Um, the the GPS said four minutes drive. That's how wide across this cemetery is. She's way, way, way over there. Yeah. Well, he sure made her famous, huh? Yeah. It's kind of weird that they have all these headstones all in the same spot, though. Yeah. It is really weird that they've got him... I mean, because you can't have two bodies right here. And they've got two of markers right there, too. So, what they do, like, bury them on top of each other? Or have them behind it. This one's behind. Oh, it could be behind. Yeah, I guess that's true. I haven't actually seen them that close before. So, unless... I don't know, that's pretty short for a body, though. Uh, they have the, these ones behind for the McIntyres. And these plots in front of the McIntyres. Yeah, but look how short that is. I mean, I guess it's true if you had... I mean, if I laid down, I'd probably be right about there. Yeah, that's true. Huh. Interesting. See the only gray? Yeah, he just don't want hurt by himself. I don't know if I don't know if the McIntyre family is related in any way. I'll have to look that up, but that's interesting because there's a whole bunch of McIntyres all around here. But he's the only gray. Yeah. Interesting. Single Bricker, single Nestelli, a single Ernest. Mm. Who's this? McGrath and Kendrick. So yeah, they're not. As far as I can tell, there's no relation. Wow, that's crooked. Interesting. Maybe they just. Maybe they just got a plot where they could get a plot. That's interesting, though. Um, he was born in Missouri, I believe. So I don't know, maybe his family's back in Missouri. Mm -hmm. well, it's my first time actually seeing Mr. Elmer L. Gray's headstone. The fact that it was mostly buried underneath the soil It's rather interesting. But his headstone looks a lot like Lily's. So, apparently whoever bought one headstone probably bought them both. Two for one discount. <laughs> so we're gonna try to do a short necrophonic session to talk to Elmer. Here, I'll go this way so you can see my face. So we can talk to Elmer, but there's a lot of cars and a lot of other people around here too, so. We'll have to be discreet. Might be very short lived. Yeah. But here we go. You know, watch behind you. behind me. Elmer, are you here? Elmer 
great. Are you here, sir? We just got done talking to your wife. We have a question for you. Any, any idea why it says that on her headstone? Ooh. Close enough. So. Okay, we got a car coming, so I'm gonna stop for a sec. Hurry up. Yes, yeah, so I'll hurry up. Okay. Okay, We had to stop because there's some people nearby. They're coming this way now because it's not very fucking bright. They're turning up on you. Looking this way though. This car four. Turn the opposite. They're probably gonna wait. They're going away. So Lamar, we just talked to your wife a little bit. And uh why? Why was why not? I have questions about her headstone. Do you know anything about that? Is she a victim of something? Is it something you caused? He just said beast. It's a death row before. <coughs> Were you a victim too? <coughs> well, I noticed your headstone was just about completely buried. <coughs> We did find it and clear it out a little bit for you, though. Is that okay? I'm going to try to share some more of your information so people know more about you. Is there anything you want to say about when you got arrested? to say to Lily. Anything you want to say to Zoe? Okay, Elmer. Now's your time to talk. Was the beast the government or death? go here. Is there anything else you want to say to us before we leave? Is there anything you need to say to Lily? Okay. Is there anything you need us to say to Lily Gray?
Yeah, I'm going to count to five. I'm going to set the app down. Say what you need to in the meantime. One. Two. Three. Four. Depends on what? It's funny how it counts with you. Okay. That's it, folks. So we had the honor, honor of visiting Lily Gray. Unfortunately, a victim of some beast, triple six. I wonder, wonder if that was an address. I wonder if somebody lived on like 666 East. I don't know if they did live up here and in so this area. The guy who lived in that ad at that address, he was known as the Beast. <laughs> she died at 666 East by the Beast. Okay, hopefully. Okay, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're reaching here. <laughs> we are dealing with the paranormal, so everything's a reach. So, talking to a spirit through your phone. Yeah, well. Tell me that ain't a reach. There, that's true. But we hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, walk down memory lane with us. Yeah. It's the first time I actually ever saw Elmer's headstone also. Looks like it's the first time anybody's bothered to come and actually visit his as well. Mm -hmm. Which is surprising. But it's here. So, if you guys are ever in Salt Lake and you ever want to stop by and say hi to Lily or Elmer, Stop by and say hi. Tell them we sent you. <laughs> Help keep their headstones a little cleaner because... Yeah, it was, it was darn near buried. I mean, it's one thing we're noticing when we're driving through this cemetery. I don't know how well you can see it, but some of the headstones are tipped over at a 45 degree angle. Some are laying down, some are broke. Yeah. The ground is constantly moving underneath of them. But nobody's going back and fixing them. And we are on quite a bit of a hill here. So, you know, with all of the rains and stuff coming down at, yeah, like even these ones up here look like they're completely falling over. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, beauty. That was a red tail. Right into the sun. Ouch! So anyway, we're gonna go off to our little next adventure and uh, we'll check back in with you. Till then, we love you and we'll see you later. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>